thread one needle onto the end of a piece of lacing thread. After you thread your lace through the eye of the needle, pull one or two inches of thread and use a sharp end to poke your needle through the middle of the lace and pull the slack out. On the same piece of lace, take your other needle and thread it onto the other end, repeating the process to lock your needle onto your thread. Take your cover and place it over your belly bar or handlebar, centering it evenly. If you need to manually stretch it a few centimeters, do so now. Take one needle and lace it under and through the pre-punched hole on the left side. Take the other needle on the other end of the thread and lace it under and through the pre-punched hole on the right side. Pull the lace so that you have an even amount on each side. Take your right needle and lace it over and through the pre-punched hole on the left side and back under and through the pre-punched hole on the right side. Take your left needle and lace it over and through the pre-punched hole on the right side and back under and through the pre-punched hole on the left side. Double check that you have an even amount of lace on the end of each needle. Take your right needle and place it under the first stitch on the left side. Be very careful that your needle is completely under the stitch. If it goes through it and punctures it, it could break the stitch. Take your left needle and go under the first stitch on the left side. With your right needle, go under the second stitch on the left side. You will continue to use the right needle, but now we'll skip every other stitch. So on the right side, skip a stitch and lace under the third stitch. Continue to skip every other stitch until you have completely laced to the bottom with the right needle. With the left needle, go under every stitch that you didn't lace with the right needle. It should be every other stitch and forming an X pattern. Again, be sure your needle goes completely under each stitch and does not poke through it, causing the thread to break. Once you've laced all your stitches, take your left needle and go over and through the pre-punched hole on the right side. Take your right needle and go over and through the pre-punched hole on the left side. Next, tighten your stitches by pulling up on each X. The easiest way to do this is with a fork. Be sure that the prongs of the fork or whatever tool you are using do not puncture the lacing thread as it can cause it to break. Continue this process to the end of the cover. You may need to repeat this two to three times, removing slack little by little each time.
When the cover is completely stitched on and tightened, the last step is to repeat the first stitch to make the ends match. Take your right needle and go under and through the pre-punched hole on the left side. Take your left needle and go under and through the pre-punched hole on the right side. Take your right needle and go over and through the pre-punched hole on the left side. Repeat with your left needle by taking it over and through the pre-punched hole on the right side. Pull your lace taut and tie in a double or triple knot. Cut off the excess lace and push the short ends up under the cover.